Now we're going to continue talking about electric fields and specifically this time about electric field intensity. And I'm going to do a simple derivation that will give us a formula for the intensity of an electric field. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to imagine a large particle of charge Q. So we'll call it Q there. And let's imagine this is a positively charged particle. So the electric field around this particle is outward. So we draw the field lines going out like this because the electric field away from a positive charge is always outward. Now let's imagine placing a little charge in the field. So here's little, some little charge right there. We'll call it little q and it's placed in this electric field which we'll call E. Now we want to think about the force that this field exerts on the charge. Well, We've already, we've already talked about this formula. The force F, if we have some force here, that the field exerts on that charge, the force is F is equal to Q times E. But we also have another equation that we've already learned. And that equation tells us the force between two charges. So if we have this big charge Q and this small charge little q, we can use Coulomb's law to talk about the force between them. And the force is K times big Q times little q over R squared where R is the distance from one charge to the other. Really the distance from the center of one to the center of the other. Now we have these two equations and both of these are equations for force. So just apply a little bit of logic here. If force is equal to this and force is equal to that, then this must equal that. So QE has to equal K times big Q times little q over R squared. So let's write that. QE equals K Q Q over R squared. Now this little Q right here is my small charge Q. And that's the same thing on the right side here. That little Q is that same charge. So we can cancel that out from each side. The Q cancels from the left and the right. And so we're just left with this. E is equal to K times big Q over R squared. And that's a good equation. This equation tells us the electric field intensity E, how strong the electric field is. And that's the field caused by charge Q at a distance R from the charge. And you see that it's an inverse square relationship. As R gets bigger, as we get farther from the charge, the field intensity weakens. And we see that inverse square relationship in the equations. But that's the equation for the electric field intensity at a distance r from charge q. And we're talking about the electric field E here that is produced by this charge big Q. Now this works for what we call a point charge. Like this big Q that we see here in this diagram. If we can consider all the charge to be concentrated at a point in the center, then this equation works fine. It tells us the strength of the field at a distance r from that point. Here's an example. How strong is the electric field 12 centimeters from a 200 microcoulomb charge? Well, we'll just apply this equation. The strength of the electric field E is kq over r squared. And we put in these numbers. k is the electrostatic constant. That's 9 times 10 to the 9th. Newton meters squared per coulomb squared times Q. This Q here is given as 200 micro coulombs and remember that that micro means millionth or 10 to the negative 6. So I'm going to write it that way. 200 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. That's 200 micro coulombs and you can put it into your calculator that way. Uh, you don't have to rewrite it like uh, 2 times 10 to the negative fourth, for example. You could put it in what they would call the proper scientific notation like that, but you don't have to. You can put it in like this, and this is a good way to write it because this is the way we naturally, naturally read it right here. 200 micro coulombs. 200 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And then we need to divide by r squared. r in this case is 12 centimeters. Now notice the units here. Our electrostatic constant is in Newton meters squared per coulomb squared, so we need to put this distance in right here in meters. So let's put 0.12 meters. And don't forget to square it. 
in the equation it's r squared so it's divided by 0.12 squared and I put all that into the calculator and I end up with 125 million a big number there 125 million newtons per coulomb and that sounds like a big number and it is and it's a big number because one coulomb is a lot of charge and the electrostatic constant is inherently a very big number. You see the 9 times 10 to the 9th? That's different from the gravitational constant, which you might remember was 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th. A very, very small number. Uh, electrical forces are inherently much, much stronger than gravitational forces. So anyway, there we have it. 125 million newtons per coulomb. That's just an example of the use of this equation. The electric field intensity E at a distance r from charge q.